time has come. So you can see this is cracked, weld. Or not even, uh, well, it could be the seam weld. Um, cracked, super bent, really ugly weld. So I've been wanting to fix this one anyways, but now it's like, uh, okay, we definitely gotta do it because with where we're gonna put the window, so instead of this being up here, right around here, which means the windows are gonna have to have an overlap of, you know, say an inch or so um, to get some weatherproofing here, instead of like closing inside of it, which I don't wanna do, cut off and then make it to where, instead of going all the way to here, it goes down say three inches or so to give clearance for that. So I can cut it off and then uh, we'll go from there. So I figured out where we want this to end. So whenever we bring this down, right around here should be the the lip for the window so i gave myself two inches just to be safe for room for the, the actual overhang of the window i think if i did my math right which i probably didn't i have a good idea of how long to cut these pieces this freaking trailer everything's uneven about this goodness gracious so Let's cut this stuff up and uh, see if I did my measurements right and know how to work angles and math and stuff, which I don't. Wish me luck. Alright, so they're both nice and even lengthwise. <clears throat> We've got our radius marked out for inside well inside outside on both of them i'll just use 36 grit flap wheel it doesn't have to be perfect but i want it to be nice and close seriously okay Dem Take it. Perfect? No. But I think uh, I've got too high of expectations. That'll work. It's way better than what it used to be on there, all twisted and cracked and all that fun stuff. So now I just need to copy that cut for the other side. But what's most important is just getting this one welded in now so that I can weld the wall in. So hey, good enough. I just need to copy the cut for the other side so the other one's identical. And then uh, weld this puppy in. All right. It is not perfect, but that'll do. All right, it's been, I think, two weeks since uh, last video update. Been super slammed at my shop. Um, People, if anyone sees this that doesn't know us personally, I also own an auto detailing business. Um, doing like high-end cars, doing paint corrections, ceramic coatings, PPF, all that good stuff. Anyways, finally back to this guy. I'm ready to put those bars in. All right, the time has come to cut this piece out, cut this, and then weld in some angle iron for our window sill, bottom, whatever.
don't know why I'm using this tape. Something in me thought that was necessary. Got the right side wall cut out. Um, in order to save some material, I would have had to use a big chunk of a full four by eight sheet. Um, instead, luckily I just used my scraps that I had and I'm just making a seam on the other side of that bar. It's starting to look like a trailer. It was raining a minute ago. Now it's beautiful weather. All right, so we got the walls cut. frame is primed. We've got this primed for where it's going to be behind the fender, all that stuff. We've got our spot welds punched out. We've got where our spot welds are on the fender. So we're going to take our seam sealer, all seam seal tied on these edges away from the spot welds. So it'll probably be, you know, three quarters of an inch away from the spot weld. Utilize these magnets. to help it to where I can keep it away because I want a nice solid bead all the way around, but obviously I can't get the seam sealer on the um, on the spot welds or else it's gonna be nearly impossible to clean that all out and be able to get a good clean weld in. Hopefully I'll be able to slide it without touching the seam sealer. I'm sure I'm gonna mess this up. You wanna come be in the video? Come here. See how I do the cameras. Got a nice, tight, no gaps. Little bit of a gap, but totally okay. Actually, that's probably just the curvature of the fender. Good. This is where I went real close to the edge with that seam sealer, so that was expected. So I'll just take prep all and make a nice clean line. But as I'm down there, oh, you can't see that. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've noticed this before. Awesome. So I gotta keep it away from where we actually yes. Just an extra smooch here. What'd you say? How's this up here? Magnetized. Hmm. I just realized all of your clothes are highly flammable. So, so you're gonna step away a little bit. 